एंड वेलकम टू एमजॉन वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग इलेट्रेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इलेट्रेशन ट्वेंटी नाइन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द स्टडी मटीरियल होप इट्स गोइंग टू बी फाइन राइट इट्स गोइंग टू बी फाइन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन कमेंट बिलो ओके इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव गिवन दिस पॉलिसी अमाउंट डायरेक्टली सो दिस इज अ पॉलिसी अमाउंट पॉलिसी अमाउंट एंड दे हैव टोल्ड अस दैट द फायर अकर्ड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च Okay, following particulars are available. Stroke as on thirty first twelve two thousand twelve. That thirty first twelve two thousand twelve. That means they might be preparing books according to the calendar year. Okay, so we have to prepare memorandum trading account from the date January first two thousand thirty till thirty first March two thousand thirty. That is for three months. Okay, they have given us the opening stock, which we have to enter in the memorandum trading account sixty thousand. Purchases to the date of fire two lakh sixty thousand. Sales to the date of fire one lakh eighty thousand. Carriage inwards, which is a direct expense, you have to take it in the memorandum trading account. So that is one thousand six hundred. Commission on purchase to be paid is also a direct expense. We have to take that also in the memorandum trading account. That is two percentage. That is. Purchase to be paid means two lakh sixty thousand into two percentage. You can see that purchase the amount of purchase is two lakh sixty thousand and the purchases to be paid is of two percentage. So we'll get five thousand two hundred. Okay, so five thousand two hundred is the amount of commission. And the next thing they have told us that gross profit ratio at fifty percentage on cost. Okay, so in this question they have already given us the gross profit ratio is equal to fifty percentage on cost. That is. There is no need for us to prepare a trading account because why we are pre preparing a trading account is to find a trading account for the previous year is to find the gross profit ratio. Since they have already given us a gross profit ratio directly in this question, there is no need for us to prepare a trading account for the previous year. We can directly go on preparing the memorandum trading account. Okay, uh, I guess you have seen the video of basics. They have told you that the very first step is to find a gross profit ratio by preparing a trading account for the previous year. Since in this question they have given us gross profit ratio directly, there is no need for us to prepare a trading account. We can directly go on making. We can directly go on preparing the memorandum trading account. How? You understand it? Okay. And the other thing is that they have given us this gross profit ratio at fifty percent each on cost. and the thing is we don't know what is the amount of cost so that is a simple uh, method behind this i will be explaining this while uh, we are discussing the answer let's just continue reading the question you are uh, you are asked to ascertain total loss of stock okay so uh, they are uh, they are asking us to find the actual loss other thing is amount of claim that is net claim to be made against insurance company okay and okay assuming that the policy was subject to average close Okay. Okay. They have also given us the stock salvage. That is a stock sale. We have to subtract this amount from the frozen stock to find the actual loss, right? So forty one thousand three hundred sixteen. They have already given us directly. Okay. We are going to start discuss the solution. So we are preparing a memorandum trading account. Okay. So. As usual, the very first thing we have to, we used to enter in a trading account is opening stock. So we are directly writing the opening stock that is sixty thousand, sixty thousand. Okay. The next is purchase. They have also given us that they have given us that directly in the question two lakh sixty thousand. We wrote it down two lakh sixty thousand. The next thing is carriage inwards is a direct expense, right? We have to write them down. So thousand six hundred. Okay, and commission. We found the amount of commission as five thousand two hundred. That is two lakh sixty thousand into two percentage. We'll get five thousand two hundred. Why? Because they have already told us that own purchase. That means we have to multiply this two percentage. We have to apply this two percentage on this purchase. Okay, that and that's how we found the amount of commission. That is five thousand two hundred. That is also a direct expense. We have to write it down in the memorandum trading account. Okay. And uh, other thing is, they have given us the sales, so we wrote down the sales directly. Since we have to find the closing stock as balancing figure, we have to know what is the amount of gross profit. And here they have given us fifty percent the John cost. So how do we calculate it? Because we don't know what is the amount of cost. So how are you going to calculate the gross profit? Amount of gross profit. It is very simple. There is a logic behind this. That is, 
they have told us in the question that the gross profit amount is 50 percentage on cost and we don't know what is the amount of cost what we have to do is that there is a logic we know 50 percentage is 1 by 2 right 50 percentage is 1 by 2 okay is 1 by 3 of sales okay then 1 by 3 of cost is 1 by 4 of sales just change the denominator what will be 1 by 5 of cost it is 1 by 6 of sales right so just change the denominator and then you will get the answer so 50 percentage if they are asked if they are telling us that it is 50 percentage on cost we know that 50 percentage is equal to 1 by 2 right so 1 by 2 of cost means 1 by 3 of sales and 1 by 3 of cost means 1 by 4 of sales then 1 by 4 of cost means 1 by 5 of sales it will go on likewise okay so that is the logic behind this since we don't know what is the amount of cost we are going to calculate this gross profit amount on sales so we got that 50 percentage is equal to 1 by 2 of cost and 1 by 2 of course means 1 by 3 of sales so what we are going to do is we are going to apply 1 by 3 of sales simple that is the amount of sales is 1 like 80,000 right and we already saw that 1 by 2 of cost is 1 by 3 of sales so multiply this 1 like 80,000 into 1 by 3 and you will get the amount of gross profit and we wrote it down 60,000 now total both the sides and we will get closing stock as the balance figure which is equal to 2,6800 okay now we go to know what is the amount of stock which was there in our hand at the time of fire now what we have to do is that we have to find the actual loss that was our third step while I explain the basics of this insurance claim all right so the third step we are going to do the third step that is to find the actual loss so in order to find the actual loss what are the two figures we need that is closing stock and the other amount is stock salvaged or stock saved right so what we have to do in order to find the uh, actual losses, subtract 41,360 from this 2,6800 and you will get actual loss. See here. Okay. So, 1,65,440 is the amount of actual loss. And the other thing, the next thing we have to uh, look on is what? You have to find whether, you have to know whether average close is applicable here. So, what are those two figures we used to take in order to see whether average close is applicable? One is the closing stock. Other thing is the policy amount. They have already given us the policy amount that is equal to 1,60,000 in the question directly. So, we have to compare this closing stock with this policy amount. Okay, let's just compare and see if which amount is greater. Okay, we know, we go to understand that closing stock is the greater amount, right? 2,6800 is greater than 1,60,000, right? So, that means average close is applicable. So, how uh, how did I told you to find net claim if average close is applicable? Net claim is equal to policy amount divided by closing stock into actual loss. So, we are going to apply this formula here directly. Okay, we know that policy amount is equal to 1,60,000. Because they have given us uh, that in the question directly, 1,60,000. And this is a closing amount, closing stock, which we found after preparing the memorandum trading account. And the actual loss, by subtracting the stock salvage from the closing stock, we got the actual loss and we are just multiplying this. And we will get a certain amount, that is 1,27,999. We can just round it off to 1,28,000 and this is the net claim, amount of net claim and this is the final answer. In the question, they have asked us to find the actual loss which we found here and the next thing they have told us to find is to ascertain the amount of net claim and we also found it. So, this is how illustration number 29 is done. I hope this video was really useful to you. So, it was uh, a person named Red Spark uh, who asked me uh, to make a video regarding illustration 29. I hope this video is really uh, helpful to you okay if you find it really helpful please share it with your friends and thank you